Yay! We're married. We're home. We did it. What a lovely home. Hi, I'm Jen. Hi, I'm Kelsey. And we're gonna get married for one week. Also, we barely know each other. I've been in relationships. I've never been in one that I would say is like particularly serious. Didn't you say you clean? I am maybe the most single I've ever been. Swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. It's gonna be chaotic trying to find a balance between work, still being able to take care of myself, but also putting someone above I mean, all those two things. I don't know what Jen likes. I know she likes chocolate. When I'm talking to someone new, if something goes wrong, like my immediate thought is abort. Like get all the women and children first. Wait, like, is it? It's, it's a bear, you can't tell? It looks like a sock that's been just on it. We're staying at her place, which I am so uncomfortable with. They love with poop. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I had a burger tonight. Even if it's awkward, and even if something gets weird with me and Kelsey, it's like, no, we have to spend time together. At the very worst, I make like a better friend. Best case scenario, we fuck. I'm trying to think of like what to say <laughs> to you. I can't really look at you right now. <laughs> she can't go to my house because she's allergic to cats, which this would never work out anyways because I'm never gonna marry someone who doesn't like cats. Oh my gosh. You can put me down now. <laughs> what a lovely help. My sock lift, it got caught on the nail. <laughs> it's exactly how you imagined. She's like this in real life. I fell over. I'm so excited. What I meant to say was, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Here's the thing about Jen. It was hard for me to adjust to the lifestyle that Jen leads. Didn't you say you clean? Is it messy? I mean, what are these? This is the cleanest this room has been in like eight months. Your bed moves. I know, it's not. I have like books underneath it to keep it from moving, but they don't really work. <laughs> Do you want an echo? Yeah. Once we were alone on the first night, that's when it sort of sunk in where it was like, Shit. Like we have to get along, we have to find things to talk about, and we have to be willing to like open up a little bit. Jen and I decided to look at each other's Tinder profiles and decided to redo each other's Tinder profiles. We're in a we're in a 2016 relationship, okay? We're very open. Mm -hmm. Yours just says into burritos. Yours just says former professional football <laughs> player. <laughs> I feel like you are so much more than just one line. A form I mean I feel the same about you. Marriage is about finding Tinder matches for each other. In this case. Best part about being married? Get you some carpool lane. Yay. Yay. Day two, we went to work. I brought her ice cream. I don't see anyone. She's not here. No, she doesn't sit here. She doesn't have to sit up here for a month. Apparently, I didn't know where my wife sits, but I'm gonna go visit her now. There she is. I see her. Hi, wifey. What? I brought your ice cream. That's so nice. It kind of made me feel like a shitty wife. At that point, I was not in the headspace of being like, what's a nice thing I could do to my wife? Do for my wife. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing, Jen? My bed is on wheels and it constantly moves, so I'm trying to shove a book underneath the wheels so it'll f***ing stop. I'm not helping at all. I'm like, why don't you try a <laughs> shoe or a, like a wadded up piece of sugar packet? Wife number two is coming in. You really expect, you would just put another flat <laughs> surface <laughs> on another flat surface, hoping that it was gonna stop it. That works for me. Why? Thursday night, we went to Shake Shack with Kelsey's friends. Jen, this is my best friend, Jeffrey. Hello. Hi, Jeffrey. Nice Jeffrey, meet, meet my wife, nice Jen. Jeff. What do you think? He's handsome. Cute. Oh no, I meant. Oh. <laughs> if you're dating someone or married to someone, you have to win their friends over. They have to like you. It was at this point that I started to realize like as much as fun as I was having, I felt kind of drained. We were too afraid to like leave each other alone even in silence for too long. Like, you good? Great. Okay, I'm gonna go on my computer now. Okay, great. I'm gonna go on my phone now and check Snapchat. I am as big as your bed. There is no room for error in this bed. Do you just scare yourself with the air conditioning? Yeah, <laughs> like freak me out. Saturday night was Jen's date night. We went to a paint and sip pottery place. I am done. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. I just realized it kind of resembles a vagina. <laughs> you are much better at painting than I. I like don't think so, but I appreciate the sentiment, Kelsey. See, you said my name again. <laughs> Jen does this thing where she says everyone's name after talking. You're right, Kelsey. <laughs> I do do that. We went and saw the new Divergent movie. She had not seen any of the Divergent movies, and I am like obsessed with them. And she went just because I wanted to see it. Was the movie going experience any different from then going by yourself? There was more talking, which was 
<laughs> I wanted like to see a movie that she wanted to see more than I didn't want to see a movie that I didn't want to see. Sunday, we got up early. Trying to poop at Jen's, I can't. We went to a dessert tasting fair. After like the third dessert, I felt like I was gonna puke. Suddenly knocked all the cream out of Kelsey's cookie onto the table. I have never met someone more hungry than now. The food was really just a vehicle to like break the wall for us to talk about other deep shit. Like we talked about pooping our pants. Yeah, and then we also talked about like race relations. Yeah. And then tonight we're going to play Settlers, Settlers of, of Catan. Catan. Which neither of us have played before. No, so, so we're actually about to lose Settlers of Catan. Do you have any advice for a, a healthy relationship? Oh, don't live in that. the valley and don't live together. All right, so we are, we're definitely getting divorced. It was good having Kelsey there because I kind of felt like she was my anchor. Like if I felt a little bit uncomfortable, if I felt a little bit awkward, she was someone that I could lean on. This is my woman. I'm very comfortable with physical contact. <laughs> Today is Monday and it's our final day of marriage and I wanted to do something nice for Kelsey. So to do that, I'm gonna make like a little stop motion video. I had posted this thing on Instagram that I thought said, always seek the giant, as in like always go like seek your battles and like be a boss ass bitch. It didn't actually say always seek the giant. It actually said always seek the light, but I think she just misread it and posted it. It was in cursive and like I'm kind of dyslexic and so all weekend long we were just talking about Always Seek the Giant, how like much cooler of a phrase that was. On our last day of being married, she said, hey, can I show you something? I was like, sure. She opened up her computer and it was a beautiful stop motion video and it said, Always Seek the Giant. And she had made that for me. I just want to like end on a high note. I think it would be cool to end on a high note. I have never had a friend do something that nice for me. It was like really touching and really sweet. And it was like the best ending. I'm a divorced woman at 22. Honestly, like I think I'm gonna miss her. I mean, we would lay lay in bed at like 10.30 every night and then we'd start talking and we'd literally like look at our phones and it would be 2.30 in the morning. Anytime I felt awkward or uncomfortable, like we had to fight through it. So what that sort of like reinforced for me is just this idea that like I need to not give up so easily. I can put other people first without totally losing the things that make me strong, like being a workaholic and being independent. Just because you want to love somebody else doesn't mean that you lose those things about yourself. Go marry a stranger. Mm hmm Because you'll make the best friend out of it. Yeah. That's the best friend. I, I, it felt good. No. Let's go crush pussy. <laughs>